Nobody's Angel by Jack Clark was selected by filmmaker Quentin Tarantino as his favorite novel of the year. It was originally self-published and hand-sold one copy at a time to passengers in Jack Clark's Chicago taxi. And Jack joins us now with more. And so we were just talking, Jack, how did Quentin Tarantino end up with your book? Do you know? I have no idea. No idea. But how did you find out that he gave yeah. you such a huge endorsement? You know, just suddenly the book started selling and I couldn't figure out why. It I mean, the book is, I wrote the book in the early 90s. Ah. And then it was, I self-published it in 96, then I sold it to Hard Case Crime in 2010. So it's had its day. It's had a run. Yeah, I was on fresh air. I mean, it, it, it got a lot of publicity in 2010. So I don't know, but suddenly it's selling. And like, what's that about? That is so, it, so for people, the backstory is you were a writer, then started driving a cab in Chicago in the late 80s. And that's when you started this book, correct? No, I started driving a cab in the late 70s oh, or late mid 70s. Okay. yeah okay. and then I started yeah I started writing I started writing a book right when I was about to turn 40 cuz I'd kind of given up on fiction cuz I was never any good at it and I could never and then I saw something in one of the papers it was the average age of certain professions and or the peak age of certain professions and they said the peak age of a novelist was in his 40s so I was 39 so I thought well I'll try again and like within a couple of days I knew I could write the book Okay, well, that was because you had your background as a writer for the Chicago Reader, correct? I wrote for the Reader, and yeah, and uh, I had a story in Chicago Magazine, and you know, this, that, and the other thing. Okay. So this particular book, though, has had a couple different iterations, right? It wasn't, that's not the original title. Well, the original title was Relieved as Angel. Okay. Hard Case changed it to Nobody's Angel. Okay. There's, there's so many books named Nobody's Angel, that's why I didn't use the title. Got okay. it, okay. Uh, but it, it, is, it comes right out of the book, it's in the book, so okay. it's not like... He thought Relita's Angel so sounded like a romance novel. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I get that. So, uh, okay. But that and this is very interesting. You have a Chicago Mayor Hill Washington connection to you driving a cab. Can you talk about that? Well, I, the book is dedicated to Harold Washington. Mm -hmm. and uh, You know, he was just, a, he loved cab drivers, I think, and he hated Yellow Cab. <laughs> and I think if Harold had lived, Yellow Cab would have been out of business a long time ago. So how did he effectively try to get rid of Yellow Cab? Well, he took a bunch of medallions from them, and they started a lottery, and they gave them to the drivers. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, and I, I really do think if he'd um, stuck around a little longer, he might have got rid of But, I mean, Newberg got rid of everybody in the cab business, so... What I think is so interesting, too, is you were you self-published this book at first, and were, were trying to sell it in your cab to your patrons, correct? Yeah, I did. I, I self-published it. It cost me about a dollar eighty-six to wow. get up these books printed. I got five hundred copies, and I would just hang I hang one from a suction cup in my cab, so people would see it. I didn't try to sell it to okay. anybody unless they asked. Okay. Mm. Actually, I did once, and I was so embarrassed. <laughs> but like, what, like, what are you doing here? So I thought, okay, I'll never do that again. Funny. And uh, yeah, if people would ask, I'd tell them about the book, and you got great conversations with people. Yeah. All right, talk about the book. What is the book about? It's about a cab driver who kind of, it's sort of an amateur detective novel, except the, the cab driver, Eddie Miles, is not a very good detective. Okay. Whereas, which is, I think, how it normally would be, you know. You kind get, of reluctant to get involved, right? Yeah, he, well, he, he's not even reluctant to get involved. He just, he's driving the cab and these things happen. So he gets sort of involved with two different murders. Oh, wow. So. So do you ever see this getting picked up as like a Quentin Tarantino script? Well, he says he's not going to make any more movies. Oh, okay, oh. okay. And also he said, you know, the quote is something like it's a character study about a cab driver in Chicago. Well, character study is not a... You know, a well plotted. Uh, right. It's not. It's not very well plotted. It's just. It's. It's the guy. Very. He doesn't get out of the can much. Oh, interesting. Okay. So. Uh, so what? Are, what is what's next for you? Are you writing more novels or? I've got. You know, I've got all sorts. I just finished a book called The Morning She Left. I've got a thing called Murder Reporter. I've got a book called uh, Paris in a Bottle. I'm trying to sell all of those. I've got a. Memoir of my days is a long haul furniture mover called Honest Labor. Oh, wow. But, uh, you know, this book keeps going on, and these other books, they won't even talk to me. So, how interesting. <laughs> well, we just did. So, here on there Daytime go, Chicago, right? we're going to shoot that career out. Okay, <laughs> how's good. that? I, I can't wait. Yeah. Jack, Thanks, thank Jack. you so much. Hardcasecrime.com is where you find more information. Find Jack, find the book, and see what he's up to coming up in, in the future. Thank you so much, Jack. Okay, thank All you right. as much. Take care.